in our part of the world, so few in our communities know anything about Jesus. The issue of making disciples is not just a thing of efficiency or church growth or something, it's about people's eternal destiny. It's a very important issue. As a result of the, of the success of the Trellis and the Vine, we just had lots and lots of conversations in workshops, in seminars, in conferences, um, especially about what you do after the Trellis and the Vine. The Vine Project is the book that really takes you the next step. It helps you to see how do we get from where we are as a church to where we need to be as a community of people who are on about making disciples for Jesus. We wanted to communicate in the title that it's a long-term project and process of culture change. That's why we called it The Vine Project. I thought our church was on about the Great Commission. I thought we were on about disciple making, but it opened my eyes to see new ways that we really need to think more deeply, think more thoroughly, think more ruthlessly. The problem the book's addressing is that it's possible to have all kinds of stuff running in church. Uh, but not actually have the heart of what needs to happen, which is change convictions all the way through church. And the Trellis and Vine and the Vine Project seems to be addressing that, that we get growing people in discipleship back to the heart of uh, what we're doing as a church, rather than just running our structures. And so it's really not just a book to read, it's a book to work through with your leaders. That change might begin at the top, and percolate all the way down through the life of the church. And I think it really offers a lifeline to the pastor, to the leadership team who are thinking, we know the kind of church we want to be, we're just not sure how we can get there.